and our objective of being here is to cause as much trouble as we possibly can. The word of the Lord is the most important thing for everybody. And with all the wickedness that has taken place in America and the world, I find it amazing that the only message that most of these men claim they got from God is prosperity and money. People are dying on the streets of America and the world every day. And religion is being held hostage by Satan himself. I'm a firm believer that everybody don't want to go to hell. And I also realize that millions would do better if someone took the time out to tell them. But the preachers have been brainwashed by money, notoriety, fame, until God had been tossed on the back burner. So when they hear us, they think something's mentally <laughs> and emotionally distorted within me. Because I'm not getting paid to preach this. I'm totally the opposite of what people are used to. You never have to come pay to hear us. Amen. Church is not paying me to preach the gospel. I work because the Bible tells me to work. I wasn't voted by a board of directors. So I don't care how mad the board gets. There's nothing you can do about it but obey it or go to hell for not doing it. That's right. I never get too close to nobody that I can't preach God's word. We don't believe in church favoritism and respect the persons. We believe that it's only God's way or we don't recognize nobody's way. And that's the way you have to be, brothers and sisters. It's God's way or nobody's way. So, Boston, I'm glad to be here with you for these two days. And yes, you too. I thank you for taking the time out to come from whatever church you belong to. Don't tell me what it is because I don't care. <laughs> Jesus said, upon this rock I'll build my church. Jesus only have one church. And there's only one preacher in God's church. And it's not Pastor Jennings. Did you hear what I said? It's one preacher in God's church. And it's not me. The preacher that's in God's church is God himself. Amen. God told his apostles, it is not you that speaketh, but the voice of my father speaketh in you. So God make manifest his word through preaching. And if the man is not preaching the word of the Lord, you can go to your church and run around and fall out and foam at the mouth and shake to the white of your eyes it seems like you're going into convulsions. But if the word of God is not being preached, you stay home. They get mad at me all around the world because I tell the people, stop going to that fake church. Stay home. Don't pay your way to hell. Why in the world are you going to burn gas? Drain your bank account. Wear good clothing to go to hell. Stay home. Hang your clothes up in your closet. Don't go to nobody's church unless it's the church that started on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem by Jesus. I am not the founder of the church. So if you're a member of a church and on that building... Have pastor and founder, Bishop Hootie Do, or Bishop Chicken Wing, or Bishop Butterscott, or Bishop Beef Turkey. You know what's on your sign, you old Boston hypocrite. Right then, when you see the bishop is the founder, you did not enter the doors of God Church. You can't have two founders of God's church. 
That goes for for God the bishops here. Amen. Jesus said, upon this rock I'll build my church. He's the boss. Amen. I work for him. Amen. I am hired by him. Amen. That's what got me traveling around the world like we are. Think of it. Traveling around the world, not getting paid. Do it free of charge and folks still don't want it. We're still rejoicing over our youth conference. Right. God knows we are. <laughs> and Boston, you might as well get yourself ready for the international convocation for July. You might as well quit going to church. What time is it, brother? I don't want to lose track of time. We'll give you the correct time real quick. 623? Yes, quit going to church right now. <laughs> yeah. Amen. It's 623 <laughs> Saturday evening in the wicked city of Boston, Massachusetts. You might as well stop going to your church. All these churches in this city, Catholic, Baptist, Pentecostal, non-denominational, apostolic, Mormon, Muslim, Jehovah Witness, Christian scientist, science, Scientology. Come on now, Boston, don't be a fool. Do you really think God set up religion like an open buffet that you can just drive up and put an order in like you're doing a drive through at McDonald's? Give me three scoops of Baptist and give me a, a, a cup of Methodist and give me some French fried apostolic. Yeah. Glory to God. You know, when I came up, they had a commercial. I think it was about Burger King and one of them hold the pickle. Hold the letters. And that's where folks are about the truth. Oh, baptism. Hold speaking in tongues. That's right. Have it your way. That's where the devil have it. Have it your way. The way God have it, you're going to have it the way the word of God says it. And this is what I'm pounding in creation. There's only two alternatives, brothers and sisters. Heaven or hell. Ain't no need to walk around here in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, be dedicated to some religious organization just to die, and they give you what they call a home going, and the next time your eyes come open, you come up in the second resurrection, standing before God just to hear, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. Look at your church. Don't tell me how long you've been a member. Look at it. See, is it according to the Bible? Yes, You're a Baptist, don't brag. You're a Methodist, don't brag. You're a Jehovah Witness, don't brag. Don't you brag about no religion you have. Go to the Bible. Are oh, you listening to the old man, Boston? That's right. Go to the Bible and see, can you find the religion that you've been dedicated to, that you've been a deacon in, that you've been on a choir, that you've been an usher, that you've been a minister, that you've been an elder, that you've been a mother, that you've been a missionary, that you've been a deaconess, that you've been a woman evangelist, go to that Bible. If you don't believe the Bible, what are you going to church for? Think of it. What are you going for? If I didn't believe what's in there, you think I come to Boston to go to church? <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a Bostonian here that can take me to one of your old crazy clubs. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, let me say this to all of my viewers. Many of you have made your reservations already uh, at the convention center in Greensboro. Now, this is where some of you have made your mistake. And the hotel reached out to us. Everyone that have made their reservations before the church done blocked everything. We got it all blocked and booked now. The hotel wants you to redo it because you're under another church organization. See, the week after us, there's another organization coming who name is similar to ours. They call themselves Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith out of New York, Bishop R.C. Lawson organization. They're coming after us. 
Amen. They should come while we're there. Yes. So all of you that have made your reservations already, this is a news flash. Warning. <laughs> Warning. The hotel wants you to rebook. Write this down. This is the code that you got a book under. F-C-O. That's the code. F-C-O. F-C-O. Oh, do that. You got to rebook your reservations. Over 100 done done it, maybe 200, maybe 300 already. People ain't wasting no time, they want to be there so bad. And you're going to be shocked when you find yourself sitting in the false church. It won't be us. <laughs> you're sitting around out there, where's Pastor Jennings? I'm somewhere home. We done came and gone. It's like missing the resurrection. You came, gone. So the cold F. C O F as in first, C as in Christ, O as in Omega. <laughs> All right. All right. Open your Bible anywhere. Let's go to work. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, and at verse 7. Follow me, Boston. I want to encourage everybody here. Leave your church. That's it. I'm criticized by many thousands of preachers. You know, there's not a religious program in America or out that's even similar to this. Amen. It's outstanding. Oh, yes. And man, one fella came to me, one brother came to me, he was laughing. He said, you know, Pastor Jennings, there was a fella, he didn't say preacher. He said, there was a fella, obviously saw all them thousands of people there in Greensboro, and he took a text, said, don't follow the crowd. Mm. <laughs> he was so <laughs> upset seeing all those people. I said, well, who was it? He said, I oh, just some fella, don't worry about it. <laughs> Took a text, don't follow the crowd. Well, Jesus said, my sheep will hear my voice. That's it. And uh, thousands are coming to this old message. Oh, yes. This message is not prosperity. We don't believe in that trash. No. Amen. The true prosperity is not money or land or your clothing. True prosperity is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is. I don't care how much money you got. You was born without it. You're dying without it. That's right. And then if you got a bathroom bigger than this auditorium and your tub as big as this stage and your toilet bowl is as round as William's tabletop. <laughs> Amen. And you need a crane to sit on it. Mm. Every morning you take an elevator to sit on the edge and your feet dangle off like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Go ahead, take God. When the smoke clear, and God snatch your breath out of your body, hear me good, Boston, you're going to stand before God. That's right. Now, this is what everybody need to consider. If your belief don't pass the Bible test, never mind what your mother raised you, never mind what your father raised you, never mind that. You know, a lot of folks say, well, but if my mama told me it got to be right, no, sometimes our mother tells us the best what they know. Right. Sometimes our father done the best they can. But who can give you better information than God? That's right. If we examine ourselves, get what I'm telling you. We're going to have to come back and start over. And uh, I'd rather start over while I'm alive. That's right. Because if I die, I can't start over at all. That's right. So while I'm alive, if I got to start from scratch, get baptized over again because I'm baptized wrong. Yeah. Baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And everybody that's baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you no more baptized than uh, apples getting washed by your own hands in your faucet. That's right. Because Jesus didn't say be baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No. He said do it in the name of, of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And you can't do it in the name of it unless you know the name of it. That's right. I'm a son by birth. I'm a husband by marriage. I'm a father because my wife and I got seven kids. Hmm. I know I'm a father. Oh, yes. 
But uh, what's my name? What's your name? It ain't husband. It ain't father. It ain't brother. It ain't uncle. My name is Jennings, so you got to call my name. That's it. All of you that have been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you've been baptized wrong, wrong. including your pastor, mm -hmm. bishop, your elder, your prophet, your evangelist, your so-called apostle. All of the city of Boston, I mean the whole, the whole state of Massachusetts got to come back to Bible. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. All right, Williams, let's go to work. Follow I me in your Bible. Isaiah 55 and then verse 7. Now remember, viewers, you that made your reservations already, go back and get that code F-C-O. The hotel contacted and said, y'all done booked it under the wrong check. Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you. Shame. Get it right now. Get it right. You got to cancel your reservations and redo it. Yes. You can be written right. That's All right, right, Williams, what you have? Isaiah chapter 55 and at verse 7. All right. Let the <coughs> wicked forsake his way. What should Boston do? Let the wicked forsake his way. You might as well give the benediction right on that scripture. That's right. All of Boston, Amen. cigarette suckers and vapors and beer guzzlers, Christian dice rollers. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Christian Budweiser lovers. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Amen. Christian dykes. Uh -huh. mm. You go to churches that got a rainbow flag. Uh -huh. That's right. Talking about we accept everybody. Mm -hmm. God don't accept everybody's behavior. No, no. God said all souls are mine, but God wants your behavior to change. That's it. Get me. Let the wicked forsake his way. You know, even the school board of America is trying to push this homosexual agenda down the throats of students. That's right. Amen. And I want to say to every teacher, every teacher that's trying to, where they're trying to force you to call some young man and some young girl not by a he or she, but by them. Them. One person walk around tomorrow and say, I'm a them. <laughs> I'm they. No, you a fool. That's a fool. Hear me, parents? That's a fool. You go to a church that bow to that junk, you in the devil's church. That's right. Because God said he made man in his image. In his image. And in his likeness. That's it. And from Adam, woman came out. That's right. Woman came out. That's right. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Not Adam and Steve. No. Someone said, well, you behind the times, Pastor Jen, and nope, I'm right up to date. <laughs> That's right. God don't change it. No. You modern, timid Christians. Oh, yes. Because you got homosexuals in your family, you're scared to say anything. Mm -hmm. God don't change. That's right. That Bible don't change for your family, don't change for your son, don't change for your mama, and don't change for your daddy. For I am the Lord, I change not. Amen. Are you getting me? In Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. That's why they get Al Sharpton. Yeah. He's a chameleon. Yes. In other words, where he land, as long as he get paid, That's he ain't true. saying nothing. That's true. The Black Panthers reached out to me. Mm. Asked me, will I come preach? I forgot the name of the city in Louisiana. They came when I was in Lafayette. They said, we watch you down here. We love you. We want to know would you come. There's a lot of murder in our city. There's murder everywhere. Yeah. And he asked me, he said, what would you charge? I said, nothing. His eyes got big. He said, you're kidding me. <laughs> he said, you mean to tell me you will come preach for the Black Panther Party? I said, I preach for anybody because I kill everybody. That's right. I preach for the Black Panthers on Monday. And Monday night, I go preach for the Ku Klux Klan. That's right. Eh? That's right. Where they God, I have the clan and the Panthers both going down in water. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Eh? Amen. He said, so uh, you mean to tell me, Pastor Jennings, you wouldn't charge me? I said, no, no, no. I, Pastor Paul said, I'll be chargeable of none of you none the gospel. Of you. He said, I'm shocked. You're the first preacher we ever met that even said such a thing. He said, we had Al Sharpton to come. And he charged us $35,000 just to stand and take a picture. Wow. 
My Lord. Glory to God. You see, we're in the last days, and you wonder why do My God Lord. have our voice hmm. louder than anything under the sun that professed to be religion. That's right. We come along with God's word to quicken your mind, quicken your heart, and let you understand that going to church today has been turned to nothing but a tradition. That's right. That's all. That's all. A tradition. That's you it. go because it's Saturday or you go because it's Sunday. Yeah. Some of you on your way here, you are smoking driving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah, man, you got six pack of beer all in your house. You know you do, Boston. <laughs> Some of you here with your second wife and with yeah. your third husband. Yeah. Am I right? That's right. And you should be here. Amen. Amen. That way you can go home two different directions. That's right. Do you hear this? Let the wicked forsake his way. Give chapter and verse again. Back in Isaiah 55 and verse <coughs> 7. Let the wicked, that forsake. got everything under the sun. Everything. Let the wicked forsake, his leave, way. break off, stop. That's right. Forsake his, his way. You see, we got ways that's not like God. Oh, yes. Am I right, I said? Oh, yes. Everybody that's walked this planet got ways that's not like God. God. But have you noticed? Every way under the sun that's opposite from God, they say it's a Christian. That's right. That's right. Hmm? <laughs> That's right. All these bigots that live in Boston? Mm. How in the That's world are you going to look at me? Now, let me get raw with you. And I'm not going to say I'm sorry because I don't apologize for telling the truth. But if it get too hot, go out, get water, and bring your britches back. <laughs> That's right. How in the world you going to say you're a Christian? Yeah. Get me. And call me a nigger. That's right. How in the world you going to say you're a Christian and call my Hispanic brother a spick? That's right. How in the world you going to say you're a Christian and call my Asian brother a chink? Amen. How in the world you going to say you're a Christian and call my Polish brother yeah. a Polak? That's right. That's right. God said he made man. That's it. The devil made niggas. That's right. The devil made crackers. That's right. And the devil made spicks. Amen. God made man. God made man. That's right. Are right, you listening to what I'm talking? That's it. And That's you right. go to these old weak Bible toting scared so-called Christian churches. Amen. They have no fear to take your money, but they're scared to tell you what the Bible says. That's right. Listen, man, if you love me, tell me what's right. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Just search your Bible. Go God ain't sent no prophet, no apostle. They'll go around preaching what these men preach in the day. No. God got a miracle with your name on it. God ain't got nothing with none of your name on it. That's right. God ain't never told you he got a miracle with your name on it. No. Jesus say, he that believe and is baptized shall be saved. Amen. He that don't believe it shall be damned. That's it. That damned mean you're going to hell. That's right. Huh? Let the wicked forsake his way. Let Boston. Amen. They say, that's why I don't like that man, because he don't preach with love. <laughs> See, I'm like the grandpa. You know, I'm not like the modern parents, you know, that send their children in the corner to my son time out. Old Jimmy can kick his mother on the ankle and slap his father and say, no, shut up. And, and, and the parents just say, Jimmy, that's not nice. Not nice. You shouldn't say that, Jim. That's right. Let Jimmy go to grandpa house and say that. On, before he gets shut up out, he ain't going to get the up out. Right. He's just going to get sh by. That's right. I'm, I'm like grandpa with the Bible. That's right. Thank God I take the belt of scripture and go around the world beating creation. That's right. Huh? That's right. You don't, you don't need me to pet you because you already go to churches that have made you sugar babies. Yeah. That's why you're spoiled and you look at me with Popeyes and shocked. <laughs> Did he say this? Did he say that? Yes, I said it. That's right. That's right. 
If your preacher was so right, you wouldn't be so shocked at what I'm saying. Yeah. You mean to tell me all the dirt and trash and garbage in society and your preacher don't say nothing? Say nothing. But let the church say amen. God is love. Jesus is love. He died for me. He died for you. Hold the neighbor next to you. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. It's your time. That's right. They have no message. No message. To get you right. That's right. Everything is watered down. Yeah. And the reason why it's watered down is to keep you happy and keep your wallet broke. That's right. I wouldn't care if you gave a million dollars a second. It's heaven or hell. Amen. That's it. That's it. Your money is not going to save you. No, no. Your position you have ain't going to save you. going to save you. I know millionaires and know them personally. Yeah. And hey, they tell me, Pastor Jenny, you, you really ain't impressed with nobody. I said, no. No. Sometimes they bragged with me about what kind of furniture they got. They say, well, Pastor Jenny, you know, I got a, I remember I went to one house and they had one of them Louis the something, Louis the 15th or Louis the, I don't, it was somebody from Louis. <laughs> and uh, I, I got ready to sit down and his wife was like, no, 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 no. No, no. Please don't sit there. No. When she, she caught me, I was in this position. <laughs> She's like, I mean, I mean no harm, uh, Reverend Jennings, but no, no, that's, that's a Louis uh, for somebody imported from France. My oh, Lord. If what's good enough for Louis behind is good enough for mine. That's right. Where's Louis at now? That's Louis right. dead. He's dead. <laughs> That's right. Come on back to Bible, Boston. Amen. Come on back and break up your wicked way. That's it. Stop your smoking. Stop your gambling. Stop your clubbing. Stop your partying. Stop your drinking. Stop living together, not married. Stop having all these babies and you ain't married. Just That's stop right. this stop. homosexual lifestyle. Stop. And you stop. go to church on Sunday and because your preacher said, we accept the way you are because that's the love of Christ. That's a lie. That's a lie. Christ said if any man be in Christ. Be in Christ. He is a new creature. He is what kind? A, a new creature. What kind? A new creature. What's the result? All things are passed oh, away. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All things are passed away. Are gone. Behold all things. You can't walk with Christ still smoking weed? No. Can't walk with Christ and still got a six pack of beer. That's right. You can't walk with Christ and still clubbing. That's right. You can't walk with Christ and still gambling. Amen. You ain't no new Christian. You're still sinner. That's right. If any man I be don't care if it's your pastor. Yeah. Any time your pastor got the fellowship hall of the church written out to the neighborhood and they having parties, parties. Christmas parties, Halloween parties, Easter parties, and you go to some church. Go ahead. It's a club. That's right. Give That's me Leviticus 10.10. Right. 10. In Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Follow me in your Bible. Leviticus chapter 10 and at verse 10. You know, because folks say, it don't take all that. It take everything that the Bible says. Everything. Follow me. Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. And what? And that ye may put difference. Did you hear this? Amen. God wants us to be different. That ye may put difference. You Christian cigarette sackers. Yeah. You that hang out with Jack and Daniels. Oh, yeah. Got a Bible in your house and a bar. And a bar. Huh? That's right. Friends, come over, you entertain them. Why would ashtrays be in the house of God's people? That's right. Amen. Bible says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the, in the world. world. Why would an ashtray be in the house mm. of God's people? That's right. Amen. Do you hear what Leviticus 10.10 10 said? And that ye may put difference. Be the same. Put difference. No, be the same. And that ye may put difference. Put a difference. Between holy. Between holy. And unholy. And unholy. And between unclean. And between unclean. And clean. Where's your difference? Amen. Where's your difference? Christian woman, where's your difference? You still out here with hot pants on. That's right. Showing your backside and got something dropped down here showing your cleavage. That's right. Amen. Got your wall green and CBS hair. Amen. Where's your difference? Fingernails so long you can't even hardly eat. That's true. That's true. Amen. Where's your difference, brother? Amen. You out here switching 
like you raw hide. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Where, where's your difference? Yeah. Where's your difference? My Lord. That's right. Where is it? Hmm? Where is your it? name is Billy, but you want to change it to Brenda. That's right. That's right. Any man coming here, ain't no man coming in First Church. <laughs> ain't going to use the ladies' room. No. No, no. You can come in with a wig all you want. That's right. You can have your size 12 and some pumps if you like. If, that's right. That bathroom says women only. Will you violate my rights? No, you violating the right that God gave you. That's right. Isn't it amazing how the government, they are fighting for fight. this same sex Yes, marriage. they will. They even said that it should be a curriculum in the elementary schools of America. Lord have mercy. You see how the devil is pushing this agenda? Amen. And these old churches, when they hear me preaching, they say, this man hate homosexuals. No, I don't. No. It's the deed that's God against. That's it. The individual God loves. God loves. But the deed. That's it. That's right. And you men done got sold. You're worse than a soggy piece of bread. Amen. Men ain't got no backbone. No. You bow to it because your son, your son come to you, dad. I... I'm getting married. You are? Congratulations, son. Mm -hmm. let, let, me, let, me, let me meet her. Okay. He go outside. <laughs> son name is Johnny. Johnny bring in James. James. James come in. Oh. oh. Hello, hello, Mr. Parker. That's right. Now, today, a lot of them is from the hood. Yeah. They coming from the hood. Oh, yes. That's it. How you doing, Mr. Parker? I'm, 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 your, I'm your son's man. That's right. And you know what Mr. Parker, the father and the mother would be like? Well, if that's the life he choose, we will support it. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with if you? If there's any parent that are watching or that are here, support that and say you are Christian, you're a sinner. That's a sinner. And that ye may put different. If it's a father, he's of the devil. Amen. If he's supporting your daddy, Amen. is of the devil. That's right. You hear me, Boston? That's that right. That goes forth. I got any parents here that justify your justify. child homosexuality and say you're a Christian? You're a liar. That's a lie. That's right. That's right. That's right. I don't care if you white as snow, black as night, yellow as a school bus, or clear as water. Amen. Amen. You're a liar. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's right. Do you hear this? And that ye may put different. Put a different. Between holy, holy and unholy. And unholy. And between unclean, unclean. and clean. Amen. Put difference. That's why you young folk that got sons. And your son want to put on mommy's wig mommy's. and carry mommy pocketbook and put on mommy shoes. Mommy shoes. Don't you tell that child that's cute. That's right. That's ugly. That's right. Deprogram that child. Amen. The media is programming our children to hate God. Yeah. And we that believe in God, the Congress yes. and the media and the politicians yeah. are trying to make it seems as something is wrong with us. Right. Because we believe the Bible. There ain't nothing wrong with us. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. What's bro. wrong is what's right with us. That's right. Amen. Go ahead. T.D. Jakes won't say nothing. No. Won't say nothing. They had him on an interview. Can homosexual and the church coexist? He said, well, certainly. Well, certainly they can so exist because uh, there, 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 there are some good there are some good homosexuals, Christians. That's right. That's right. There ain't no such thing. No such thing. As a homosexual Christian. No. There ain't no such thing. No, no. As abomination and Christ-like and Christ -like. together. That's right. The Bible said you can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. Same fountain. That's right. I come from the hood. 
Either you knew how to hold your hands mm -hmm. or you didn't know how to hold your hands. That's right. You knew how to body box or you didn't. That's right. From the hood, we ain't come out like this. Yeah. We came out. That's where we came out. That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking? That's right. That's right. Jesus Preach it. came Preach it. from the hood. From the hood. What do you think Nazareth was? That's right. The Bible says, can anything clean come out of Nazareth? Out of Nazareth. Nazareth in modern terms was the ghetto. That's right. Jesus came turning over tables. Oh, yes. Beating them out of the synagogue. Either make the tree good. Do you hear this? In the book of St. Matthew 12 and verse 33. Either make the tree good. Either make the tree good. And its fruit good. And the fruit good. Or else make the tree corrupt. Or make the tree corrupt. And its fruit corrupt. And fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by his fruit. Look at your church. Amen. Look at the praise dancers in your church. Yeah. Doing all that, doing steps when they up there supposed to be praising the God and all mm. that stuff. That's right. Look at the revivals around in your church. Yeah. A different liar each night. That's right. The preacher's buddies come. <laughs> run a revival, run a make revival. money. Yeah. They split it up with the liar. Oh, yeah. Look at the junk that go on in your church and you sit back like a pig in slop. Oh, yes. Because you're so used to the slop, you don't say nothing. That's right. So what happened? That's right. You go along and get along. How can you say out of one mouth, well, I don't believe this, but yet you pay tithe and offering to support it. Yeah. If you support it, you're just as guilty as the one that do it. That's right. Break up your folly ground, Break Boston. Your ground. Do you hear what the word of God says there? And that you may go back to where you are, son. Back in St. Matthew chapter 12. We were in St. Matthew chapter 12. Come on. Jesus told us to break it up. Yes. Break up your wickedness. Yes. Go back to the foundation of the thing. Back in Isaiah 55. All right. And verse 7. Listen. Let the wicked forsake his way. Boston, are you willing to leave your way? Yeah. Are you willing to get upset and go back and drink a Budweiser and say, man, that got crazy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Call me whatever you like, Boston. Yeah. You know what me and you got in common? You're going to die one day. Oh, yes. But I'm, if I'm dying, I'm planning on meeting the Lord in peace. That's right. What about you, Boston? That's right. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to keep jumping around, going to your man-made church because your father is the pastor? What kind of dumb reason is that? Yeah. Because your uncle is the pastor? Yeah. Because your husband is the pastor? Because your slap-happy grandpappy is the pastor? Amen. He started the first AME church in Boston? That's right. I wouldn't care if he started the Underground Railroad here. <laughs> That's right. You got to do it like the Bible say, or his whole train is going to hell. Wherefore, come out from among them. Come out? Come out from among them. Do you hear the Bible talking? In 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. This is the last days we're living in. Oh, yes. And you can look at society war. It's going on around the world. That's right. The Ukrainians are being slaughtered. Yeah. But they're not the first ones that's being slaughtered. No. People were being slaughtered for years. That's right. Every time war break out somewhere, mm -hmm. that people who are victimized by the villains, mm -hmm. you get citizens, normal citizens, yeah. who rise up and call themselves the resistance. That's right. Whether it's in Ukraine, you got the resistance. That's right. When uh, Germany invade Great Britain back in the 40s, you had British resistance. That's right. When they invaded France, you had the French resistance. Mm -hmm. Now the church is the resistance. That's right. We're at war with Satan. We're at war. You know the resistance will come out Bomb bridges yeah. to cut off the enemy supply. Oh, yeah. Our job is to bomb false religion. That's right. So they're not able to supply the people with any more lies. That's right. I'm part of the resistance. That's right. That's why I go from place to place bombing religion. That's right. 
bombing cities with Bible. With the Bible. Bombing so bad until even the FBI looking at it. Resist the devil. The FBI even got some agents to come in to mingle in with the church. Amen. Yeah. A man got so mad at us one day we had our old headquarters on Frankfurt Avenue. He seen the man left a message and said, I'm calling the FBI. Mm -hmm. And he called him. Amen. And uh, the FBI said, oh, we already, we already know about that Geno Jennings. We got eye on him already. <laughs> already got eye on him. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's all right. That's all right. FBI had some agents come down to Frankfurt Avenue and stayed a few years. Yeah. Made themselves mingle in real good. Yeah, in fact, I know two of them even got baptized. Mm. Thought they could fool me, you know. Mm. Yeah? Amen. Thank God, but when they saw that we was not deterred, I wouldn't care if Biden himself said on the end of the, the, end of the stage, if <laughs> Biden don't repent he of his repent. sins, yeah. be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost, and obey God. That's it. I ain't going to be another president in the lake of fire. That's right. Hollering and burning long as God remain God. That's right. Huh? Let the wicked forsake his way. Are you ready to leave your way, Boston? Amen. Uh -huh. And the unrighteous man, his thoughts. Look at the way you think. Look at the way you think, unrighteous. Look yeah. at you. You lie, swear, you party. Yeah. You was partying last night, Friday night, just sitting there at the bar talking about you're going to come to church today. <laughs> Telling your buddies, hey, yo, man, I'm going to see that Geno Jennings cat. That cat you told me about? Yeah. But, man, we got a party tonight. I'm not going, man. I'll, pick, I'll see you maybe f Sunday, though. Yeah. <laughs> Look at yourself, brother and sister. Oh, yeah. You in your 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, and you doing the same thing you've been doing as a teenager. Yeah. When are you going to stop being a fool? Stop being a fool. You drink and then the moment something gets wrong with your liver, now you want Jesus to fix it. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Amen. You smoke, now you get cancer. What do you want? Jesus to fix it. Jesus. <laughs> That's right. Out there like a fool, the moment you get COVID, you get religious. Amen. Huh? That's right. Rush into the hospital, laying on the bed, right then. Husband, old wicked husband, cuss his wife out, come in drunk. Slap her around, cuss her out. Good woman. Good woman. Now he get COVID on the on the, got the ventilator. <laughs> Mabel. <laughs> and Mabel looking at him, just saying, you old devil, you. <laughs> eh? That's right. He laying at Mabel. Sing me some of them songs. <laughs> Mabel hold the hand of her old wicked husband, <laughs> rub his hand and start singing. Amen. Jesus is the light, light of the way, world forever in my soul. Right then, right then, he want to hear everything from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Mabel, come. Call Father Cunningham. That's right. Father Cunningham come in <laughs> with a basin of smoke like he get ready to prepare you for bacon. <laughs> Walk around you, talking Latin. Da la la sa ta ma ma ta ba re do ka da re do ka da la sa pa ta da Alabasa Optimus Prime Star Scream. <laughs> Blah, 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 Megatron, blah, blah, blah. You don't know, we don't know what he's saying. That's right. <laughs> you don't That's know right. what he's saying. Amen. My God, man, the man trying to make a transformer out of you. <laughs> and the moment he start to feel better. Yeah. Wife Mabel come back a few days later, he's sitting up in bed. Oh, yeah. Oh, honey, you up? Yeah, Mabel, I'm up. You got a cigarette? That's right. Right. You got a cigarette? Amen. You see, you was all humble when you thought you was about to die and go to hell. Yeah. Like I say to the world, if you still living after COVID done hit creation, God is just lengthening your days to give you time to get right with him. That's right. That's all. That's all. God is not done yet. Oh, no. He's not done yet. No. 
Something else is going to hit America, America that will make COVID look like a walk in the park. My Lord. God is not done. That's right. My Lord. He know how to bring you to your knees. Oh, yeah. Hard head, stiff neck, rebellious, following after man-made religion, That's right. cussing God day and night. That's right. That's right. God is not done. Amen. Boston, you're going to remember, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to remember there's a God that rules heaven and earth. That's right. Hey, Let the wicked forsake his way. Let Boston forsake his way. Forsake his way. And the unrighteous man. And the unrighteous man is stop. Then let him return unto the Lord. Let him do what? Return unto the Lord. And let, in order for you to return, you had to leave him. That's right. And there are many of you that used to walk with God, you're backslid Excellent. now. Some woman came, and when you saw her hips, she ushered you right out of church. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah Some man came in, you smelt his perfume, it led you right out of church. That's right. Some man came and offered you some money, made a fool out of you, dragged you right out of church. Yeah. Some woman came and offered you some leg, dragged you right out of church. That's right. Yeah. Let him return. Come on back. Unto the Lord. Let him return. Come on back. Thank you. That's it. Come on back now. Let him return unto the Lord. You better come back to the Lord, sinner. And Look he, at you. Yeah. I don't care how tough you think you are. Oh, yeah. I'm a man. You ain't nothing but a piece of dust. That's it. That's all you are. That's all you are. You ever seen bubble on water? The only thing that make that bubble form on water, air. That's it. When the air go, bubble go. That's, That's the way right. you are. That's right. Just look at your body as a place like you rent an apartment. Yeah. Your lease is up. You got to move. Got to move. That's the right. Breath that is in your body. Yeah. Just there for a while. Oh, yes. Won't be for long when God snatch it. You done. That's it. Amen. You ain't got long, Boston. That's it. Hmm? Do what? Let the wicked forsake his way. Are you ready to stop being a fool, Boston, old Massachusetts? <laughs> That's right. I want to say you pronounce it wrong. I meant to say it that way. I meant to say it. Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> That's right. Because you in a mess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boston, Massachusetts. Amen. Oh, you in a mess. You in out mess. here just drinking and gambling and smoking and partying. And many of you watching me indulging in child trafficking. Mm. Trafficking children on a black market. That's right. And many of you preachers get paid because they use your church as a place to stop to traffic children through them because you love money. Love you money. turn your back. Give me Bible where they turn to me the back and yes, not, the not the face. You turn your back on God. That's why the Bible said the love of money. That's I remember it. I preached against child trafficking one day and a man wrote me a letter. He said, when I heard you, I started crying. Mm. He said, I'm about 82 years old and all my years on the earth, I have never heard no preacher even mention child trafficking and mm. no broadcast. Every form of sin under the sun that's against God it is our obligation That's to speak right. against it. That's right. Do you hear what it says? Jeremiah chapter 32 and verse 33. Jeremiah chapter 32 and the 33rd verse. And they have turned unto me the back. They have turned to me the back. And not the face. God complaining. That's it. You grown, hell-bound men, you ought to be sent to, to hell. Be. That's right. That you are child traffic parents and little children and put them in crates. Yeah. Like a crate full of potatoes and cabbages. That's right. No air. That's no right. ventilation. Yeah. Leave them in there for days. Oh, yeah. Ship them to a port. Yeah. And then when they open up the crate, Amen. bodies are laying there dead. Don't care. Don't care. Throw them in the water and feed them to fish or feed them to untamed animals. That's right. This is the type of society we're living in. That's right. These no good mega preachers that's robbing you out your money, they don't care about God. They care about your money. Amen. Amen. God ain't never sent no man to focus on your money. No. God sent a man to focus on your soul to get on God's side and come off the streets of America acting like a fool. And they have turned unto me the back. What, 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 what the preacher's done? And they have turned unto me the back. What the church goer's done? They have turned unto me the back. Oh, they turned their back on God years ago. That's right. Creflo Dollar did it. T.D. Jakes did it. Uh... Hey man, Benny Hinn, Ben Dunner, Joel ben Dunner. Austin, he do it with a smile on his face. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey man, they've turned the back to God. They, when you turn your back on God, 
you get an attitude get that an attitude. you really don't care what the Bible says. And they have turned unto me the back. And what? And not the face. God wanted your face. What you mean? He wants you to face him. That's it. That's it. That's what God wants. He wants you to face him. That's it. What do you mean? Approach him. Approach him. Pursue him. That's it. Drop off everything else and go after him. That's right. Not them. We ain't got no bunch of gods to go after. We go after one. That's it. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? And they have turned unto me the back. Hey, 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 you that are here. Amen. Have you turned your back on God? That's it. Ask yourself. That's it. Have you turned your back on God? Is that why you're in the club now? Mm. Have you turned your back on God, woman? That you want to be a pole dancer and you love that pole and you love that money and you love flaunting your half naked self and a bunch of perverted men. That's right. Who put a little cheap dollar down on your thumb because that's all they think you're worth. That's it. Amen. Go ahead, man. What? They have turned unto me the back. They have turned the back. And not the face. That you? Mm. Beautiful. My Lord, my Is Lord. that you, fella? Have you turned your back on God? That's it. That you drive around at night picking up girls young enough to be your granddaughter. That's right. Have you turned your back on God, parents? Father, that you have sodomized your son. That's right. And raped your own daughter. The nakedness of thy son's daughter. He said you turn what? They have turned unto me the back. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. You multi-millionaires that got merchandise on the market. Right. Have you turned your back on God so much? Until you're willing to ignore the fact that you got folks overseas working, sewing, and sweatshops at right. gunpoint. That's right. Just to make mass production Preacher of your brother. clothing line. That's right. Do you love money that much that you'll have a five and six and seven and eight year old child oh, yeah. at gunpoint, gunpoint making your merchandise? Amen. Amen. You see what makes this program so different? Yes, Lord. Uh, the Holy Ghost said, cry loud. That's right. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, cry loud. That's it. Huh? Thank God and we're not scared to cry loud. That's right. What is that? They have turned unto me the back and not the face. Beautiful. Amen. You hallelujah. old weak politicians. Go ahead, man. All this child trafficking taking place in America. Go ahead. Black market for children. That's right. That's right. You old drug dealer talking about some black lives matter. Black lives don't matter to you if you're selling drugs to your own community. Amen. You're a black life liar. That's right. That's right. How in the world you going to be marching in a black life demonstration and your whole community has got your drugs? That's right. You selling drugs to a family. Mother just been buried from your product. Yeah. Sons are buried from your product. Yeah. You walk around right by Preach shooting, it. and now you want to participate in Preach Black it. Lives Matter. You's a liar. That's right. Preach it, brother. Hallelujah, glory. They have turned unto me the back. What? They the have turned God unto say. me the back. That goes for any hypocrite. Preach black it, man. Lives Matter here. Go ahead, man. There ain't no black life matter to you and you out here gang banging. Amen. Black life matter and you raping a black woman. That's right. Go ahead. Now. Preach it, Hallelujah. brother. That's right. Beautiful. Preach it. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Are you getting what I'm telling you? They have turned unto me the back. You turned your back on God. And not the face. Amen. They are opportunists. Oh, yes. That's what they are. Oh, yes. They don't really believe nothing. They're nothing but opportunists. That's right. But glory to God when that day come, when the great Jehovah. Hallelujah. Uh, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. When God himself. Oh, yes. God of Abraham. Yeah. God that made the mountain tremble. That's right. In the days of Moses. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you see him standing in the heavens. Oh, yes. And you're running through alleys and running, running. neighborhoods and falling down steps trying to get your pants on while you got your needle in your arm Go looking ahead. up. And there's no illusion. That's it's right. It's really God. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's no illusion. That's right. Hallelujah. It's really God. It's really him. That God you cuss. That God you made mockery, mockery, mockery of. Yeah. That God, that Congress passed 
bills and try to belittle his law. Reach it, brother. You pass bills to blaspheme God's law. Go ahead. You pass bills to constitute hate for God's law. Go ahead. When God comes, He come. Hallelujah. Oh, thank God Hallelujah. you're going to remember. Oh, yes. Go to your church now. You go to church. Oh, yes. Go to any church that you choose. That's right. But when the Lord comes, He comes. And that stuff is not lined up with the Bible. Yeah. Hell. Hallelujah. Hell. That's right. Hell. That's right. Eh? Amen. God, I don't care how, who you think you are in the guise of God, you're less than nothing. Less than nothing. And man, I meet men and women think they all that. They all that. They something. They something. And I'm here to tell you, you're less than nothing. All nations before him. Do you hear this? In Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. I want to show you your net worth. <laughs> That's right. Show you your value. You that thank you so much. That's right. Amen. Thank you, God's gift to women. And thank that because men fall out on you, flies fall out on dust. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. I wouldn't care if you walk the streets until your appearance mm -hmm. change all the traffic lights in your city. That's right. The moment you come out on your porch, all the traffic lights turn green. Yeah. And when you come out, all hummingbirds and bees and scorpions and insects stand <laughs> on your steps and farm an insecticide choir. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. Amen. And the crickets start cricking and the bees start beezing. <laughs> That's right. And the moment they stop their selection, when you step down on your first step, Preaching all God. the flowers open up. Amen. And all you hear is, ha, ah, ha, ah, ha, ah, ah. ha. And a bird just fly by and just say, hallelujah. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. You get what I'm talking. Amen. You to walk around and thank you all that. I show you, you what you are. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. That goes for you rich Democrats and you rich Republicans. <laughs> oh, yes. Listen at this. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. All right. All nations before him. All nations before God. Are as nothing. Are as nothing. And they are counted to him. And they are counted in the eyes of God. Less than less nothing. They're nothing. And vanity. You can't get no lower than that. No lower than that. We would say you're nothing. That's right. God said, I can do better. <laughs> That's right. God said, I can do better than you not being nothing. Less than nothing. You're less than nothing. Less than nothing. Only God can come up with that. That's right. We wouldn't even think, we wouldn't even think that far. No. We are less than nothing. Less than nothing. So you that are out here living together, not married, drinking and smoking and gambling, and just going to church on Sunday as a camouflage, hmm. you know, just to get over your guilt. <laughs> That's right. You know, party right. all weekend, Friday and Saturday, then you go to church on Sunday to hear old Reverend Chicken Wing mm -hmm. spit and holler with the organ playing behind him and tell you, and you sitting out there, woo, go ahead. And you have to look back at him and say, hi to you too. <laughs> And you call that preaching. Amen. They ain't preaching. That's noise. That's noise. Amen. Huh? Let, 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 let me come in there with Bible. Mm -hmm. See how many high you can get out of that preacher. Amen. He won't say nothing. He'll get so uncomfortable when the hot seat of the gospel get into him. He'll be squirming on that seat like a pancake on a frying pan. <laughs> That's right. All right, son. Come on, William. Let the, back in Isaiah 55 and verse 7. Hear this, Let the sin. wicked forsake his way. Are you ready to forsake your way or are you going to stay in that church and hold your little cheap ministerial position? Mm. Sitting under a woman preaching. You're a man. Mm. You say you're the head of your house. You're the head at home, but now you're the tail of that church. That's right. What's the matter with you? What's the matter the with you? The Bible plainly says the head of every woman is the man. Yeah. So here you are, the head at home. But then when you go to church, you're under Mother Grethel. That's right. Under her. And you get her spirit. You and your wife coming in the house. <laughs> That's right. That's why you men now want to wear a man bun. That's right. Hair long like a woman. That's Ain't right. no man should be doing like this. No. Look at society, young men. Society is trying to make you more and more feminine. That's and right. you don't see nothing wrong with it. Why you think society made these skin tight pads? Go ahead. Go ahead. Look at yourself. Society is making you look like a pervert. Society is stripping you of your masculinity. Preach it, brother. 
Preach it. You mean to tell me you can't see that? Amen. Preach it, man. Hallelujah. Hmm. I came up, we were men. That's right. Had our khakis on and high top Stacy Adam left hooks, rolled up a little bit. We even rolled up our t shirt. That's right. That's right. <laughs> when I came up, if you had an earring, it was a little small. Yeah. Wasn't for no gay purposes. No. Now you both got both ears in there. Yeah. Head jingling like our jingle bells. That's right. That's right. Yeah, like a baby's rattle. Yeah. Young men. Young men. Pants hanging down, showing your behind. Oh, yeah. Like you's a male prostitute. Amen. Young men. Amen. How in the world you expect to be respected as a man? You advertising your behind. That's right. It ain't no real man advertise his booty. <laughs> That's right. Am I right, Boston? That's right. You ain't no man. It's not a man. That's not. Hey, a man. you a father and got a little son. Yeah. Kind of example you are to him. Oh yes. Look at what you call your son when you introduce him. Yeah. This is my dog. What? Yeah. This is my dog. You instilling in your son to be a filth eater. That's what a dog is. That's right. Or if you don't call him that, this is my pimp. You are still in your son to be a womanizer. That's right. That's right. You a dog? My lord, my lord. You a pimp? Mm. God said he made man. man. That's it. So what are you? Your booty showing, walking, long hair, earring flapping, eye, eye fake eye. You want to be a woman so bad. Yeah. Amen. That's true. Amen. That's true. Putting on your sister's powder. Yeah. Yes. Using her bobby pins. That's right. Uh -huh. Amen. Trying to be feminine. Trying to be. <laughs> <laughs> Looking foolish. Trying to be. More feminine than your mama and your sister put together. Yeah. Amen. That's true. So true. Mm. Going to the ladies' dressing room. Yeah. And society condone it. You know, there was a transgender. It was on the news last week. Yeah. You know? Got his hair all cut and changed the clothes and whatnot. Got the hormone shots, got the fake breasts. <laughs> and they put him in a woman's prison. Mm. He felt as though he was in woman's heaven. <laughs> and he got two inmates pregnant. My Lord. What was the conclusion? Still was a man. That's right. That's right. That was a conclusion. Still, Still was a man. That's right. That's right. So they decided to move him out of the prison. What you gonna do with him? Mm -hmm. sent him to the prison where his kind is. Men. Men. Look at the young men of Boston and America. The American government is condoning this madness, and when we preach against it, they say I'm a homosexual hater. A hater. No, when God love it, then I love it. That's right. If you can get God to change his mind, I'll change my mind. <laughs> That's right. Until God changes his mind, I ain't changing mine. No way. And for what I can see, God ain't changing he, he, his. He ain't changing and his. And for what I can see, I ain't changing mine. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking? Let the wicked forsake his way. Do you hear this? Back in Isaiah 55 and verse 7. Church is not a game. No. Church Amen. is not a racket. Amen. Church is supposed to show you the sincerity of the ways of God, the thinking of God, not this entertainment industry That's that right. have took over the church. That's right. Have you take note, the so-called entertainers out here that's making movies, the celebrities, they do everything on the screen and then say, you're a Christian. A Christian. Uh -huh. That's right. And, uh, and, and, and the people eat it up. Eat it up. They eat it up. I mm -hmm. mean, they eat it up. They say, well, to each his own, it doesn't matter. It, doesn't matter. it does matter to God. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Let the wicked Let forsake the wicked his way. Forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And what? And, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And the and, unrighteous man forsake the way he think. And let him return unto the Lord. 
Have you left the Lord, Boston? Amen. Look at your life. Everybody in here, whether you're a sinner or not, you're living by God's permission and by God's mercy. That's right. In fact, God been better to you than you've been to your old self. That's right. God has. God has. There are times that some of you have been shot. Amen. On the reason why you are alive, because God wasn't ready to take you. That's right. You've been right. stabbed and almost bled out. You're OD'd. That's right. Got drunk, crashed. Yeah. Only reason why you're not dead, because God don't want to clock you out yet. That's right. Still giving your starred head, stubborn self time That's right. to mend your ways and change your life. That's right. And you walk around here, yeah, I know what you're saying, Pastor Jim, but I ain't down with that church thing. <laughs> oh, you ain't got to be down with church, but you will be down in hell. Oh, yeah. I don't believe in no hell, Pastor Dennis. You tripping. You tripping, dog. Dog, you tripping. I don't believe in no hell. Okay, you may not believe that it's getting dark outside. Amen. Your unbelief don't stop the sun from setting. No. <laughs> Your unbelief don't change nothing. Don't change nothing. How do we get so educated? Yeah. Until education made us a fool. That's right. We think, you know what? I met people don't believe in God. But on the flip side, they believe in the devil. That's true. That's true. Well, I don't believe in God. You believe in the devil? Well, yeah. Well, you know yeah. why? They hang with him. That's right. They love him. They love him. Devil don't speak against what they're doing. No. See, one thing about the human family, they never want nobody to speak out against what they're doing. Oh, no. Like a child. A child do not want mama and father to chastise them for what they're doing. That's right. And as a result of such, the government said, don't beat your child. Don't beat them. Don't chastise them. Just them. let the child do what they want. Let the child spit at mama. Let the child spit at mama and cuss their father. Let the child put his middle finger up at mama and daddy. That's right. Let the child say, F you, mama. And then mama say, oh, that's cute. That, that's cute. Where did you learn such a thing? You fool. That's you a fool. mean that's cute. <laughs> You better give me the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 30 and at verse 11. Real quick. There is a generation that curseth their father. Yeah. You see all this Bible? Amen. When I came up, man, we, if, if we dreamt about talking back to our parents, somehow or another, they came in our dream and got us. That's <laughs> right. Young generation today, your, your, your children cuss you out. You can go down the neighborhoods on the spring and a nice summer day. It can be 12, 1, 2 in the morning. Yeah. Children not even one years old, two years old, running down the street in a diaper, not even supervised. That's right. Mama and daddy just sitting out there drinking and smoking and playing cards. Yeah. You young fellas having all these kids and won't take care of none of them. None of them. And you want to be respected as a man. Amen. Even roaches take care of their kids. That's right. But you know, man, because you have sex. No. Roaches have sex. Amen. Why you think it's so hard for you to get rid of them? Amen. When you turn the lights on, you broke up their sex appeal. <laughs> they running. They want to know what you're doing. That's right. Brad, you a man and you can't take care of your kids? Your kids. You're no good heathen. No good. Are you getting what I'm telling you? There is a generation that curses their generation father. generation that cuss their father. And doeth not and bless they their don't mother. they bless their mother. They'll yeah. smack their mother. Oh, yeah. They'll slap their mother and pull a gun out on their father. That's true. Listen. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes. Self-righteous. Amen. Don't want to be corrected. That's right. Don't want to tell, be told nothing. There is a generation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How in the world are you going to live in your parents' roof they ain't going to tell them, well, look, you can't tell me what time to come in if you don't want no rules. Get out and get your own place. That's right. Your mother and father tell you, look, try to be here by 12 midnight. Now, if you're working that night, that's different. Yeah. But you're going to tell your mother and father, hey, look, I'm a grown man. Then act grown. Get your own place. That's right. Get out. Then you can come in eight days later if you want. <laughs> Amen. I want you young people to hear the old troublemaker. I want to show you how some of you ain't even got common sense. Yeah. You bragging you are all, you a grown man. You ain't working. You just sit around on the computer all day. Yeah. Smoke. Yeah. Get high. Yeah. Drink. Yeah. Party. Make babies. Yeah. And then begging different girls for money. 
That's right. And yet you talk about you're a man. That's right. You make the word bomb even look bad. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But Pastor Dennis, I got it like that. Where's the pride? A grown man got to live right. off a girl. And then use right. a bunch of other girls to get money from them. Yeah. And you proud about it? Proud about it. Use a disgrace to the word man. That's right. And I tell you, if, if some, like I said before, if some of these women can wind back the clock, they wouldn't even stop at you. <laughs> they're, they, they're tripping, hit their head. <laughs> Amen. Listen. Back in Proverbs 30 and verse 11. What is it? There is a generation that curses their father. There's a generation. See, this old-fashioned, hard preaching, the kind of preaching that mom and pa used to tell you about. Right. They don't want that. They want T.D. Snakes and Creffler O'Penny. That's right. And Joel Austin, the joker, the laughing joker preacher. <laughs> That's right. That's what they want, the laughing joker preacher. Amen. Huh? Amen. There is a generation that curses their father. Curse their father. And doeth not bless their mother. Or this generation that murder their father and murder their mother with no conscience. That's true. And then sit there and eat a sandwich while the parents are laying on the floor bleeding out. That's something. Where they got up, heard of cases where young boys done killed their mama, and then while she was laying there bleeding out, raped her. My Lord, my Lord. While she's bleeding out, raped her. Mm. And then done raping her, stood up and pissed on her. Mm. Lord, there, there is a generation. There is a, a generation, generation that curses their father. That's why we deal with every subject. That's right. Every subject across the board. Why would you frown at me dealing with this, and yet you don't frown at CNN or MSNBC or Fox when this stuff come on the news? That's right. What I'm preaching is happening every day. Amen. Right. Amen. These young boys out That's here something. murdering each other like it's a game. And the young girls are doing the same thing. That's right. And then go to some church and join some choir. Tell about you got the Holy Ghost. You're of the devil. Amen. You can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. Same fountain. You're either going to serve God or serve the devil. That's, One of the two. That's it. You can't do both. No. This modern church thinks you can do both. Go ahead, man. Listen. There is a generation that curseth their father. Curse father. And doth not bless their mother. Don't bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes. Self-righteous, self-centered. And yet is not washed from their filthiness. They're they self-righteous and they don't want to be told nothing. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their oh, eyes. Oh, how arrogant this generation is. I heard of a case in Philadelphia. I think one boy was 15. No, one boy was 16 and the other was 13. And they carjacked a family. Amen. And the 13-year-old had the gun and the 15-year-old had the gun. And uh, so the 13-year-old, it made him, gave him a kind of a high and uh, made the parents get out the car and uh, raped the wife with, and wanted the, and dared the husband to do something so they can kill him. My Lord. Raped the wife right in front of him. My Lord. 13 years old. Mm. My Lord, my Lord. Amen. Little boys, six, seven, eight years old, chasing other little boys in school, telling them, I want to rape you. Mm. In elementary school. My Lord. And the government of America is part of the blame. That's right. Because you are telling these kids you got another alternative. You don't have to accept the fact you are a boy. That's right. You don't have to accept the fact you are a girl. Yeah. You can be other. Other what? Other what? Other what? I want this to be good in case I got any so-called others in here. <laughs> That's right. You ain't no other. No other. You either a boy or a girl, no girl, a man or a woman. Well, Pastor Jennings, what is it if I feel this inside of me? That's the devil That's in you. That's the devil. There ain't no woman in you. No. The devil in you. All that the give, way. That give you a feeling that contradicts what God made you. That's right. That's right. What it is. You didn't come here to see Pastor Jennings switch in the pulpit? No. Imagine if I would have came in here, <laughs> short dressed, halter, pocketbook on my shoulder. My Lord. Huh? With this, my Lord. And still talking with this heavy voice that I had. That's right. 
Well, I mean, what would you do? Would eyes be drunk, be like a cartoon. Them eyes just go out and then come back in. <laughs> That's right. How did our men get so mentally warped? Where you accept this trash? Yeah. You a man? Oh yeah. You supposed to be a man? That's it. Man, you hang with a bunch of homosexuals. Hang with them. Ain't nothing wrong with it, Pastor Jennings. God is love. I agree, God is love, but that's not the definition of love. No. That's not the definition of love. Give me the Book of Leviticus fast. Amen. Amen. All these women out here, you don't even know how to do wrong the right way. Right. In the book of Leviticus chapter 18. And there's a right way to do wrong. Yeah. The Bible is against fornication. Yes, it is. But you can't even do wrong. Right. Right. That's right. You don't smoke a cigarette by putting the burnt part to your mouth. That's right. And then wonder why your tongue keeps getting burnt. you fool. That's a fool. You Put the filter part. Who in the world get a quart of liquor, put it in a brown paper bag, and then put the bottle up to their mouth and the top is still on it? That's right. You got to take the cap off so you can get cirrhosis of the liver. That's right. That's right. Now listen at this. In the book of Leviticus chapter 18 and at verse 22. Get me, world. Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. The government of America and the entire educational system of the world. You're going to stand before God for promoting, promoting this homosexual acceptance. That's right. And teaching this lying curriculum. Every teacher under the sound of my voice. Don't you bow to no bow school to district in your city or your country. Yeah. And when they try to force you to call some child a other. A other what? Other what? <laughs> you either boy or girl. That's it. And now you fill out these forms. Let him decide. God, Listen, if that boy don't know what he is, hey, young man. Yeah. You don't know what you are? Let me take, take this advice. Strip naked. Yes. Stand in front of a floor, a floor mirror. Uh -huh. yeah. That's right. Look at what you got. Okay. You're a man. You're a man. Man, go put your drawers back on. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Case solved. Beautiful. Case solved. Case solved. Want to, want to try to make yourself one of the X-Files. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> want to try to make yourself one of the X-Files. Not here. Not here. No way. Hear me good now. In Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. When they hear me preach like this, sometimes YouTube will put this message up and then put a rating under it. How yeah. do you rate this message? <laughs> yeah, I've seen them do that. How do you rate this message? Amen. Excellent. Good. Not so good, unsure. Amen. I always rate it excellent. I give it the highest star every time. The highest star. Yeah, amen. <laughs> this type of preaching offends some folk because what I'm preaching about is in their family. Right. Because it's in your family, it don't make it right. That's right. You mean to tell me I preach against being raped and because you being raped, I shouldn't preach it? Mm. My job as a preacher is to protect it. you and look out for predators because you even got predators in church. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. That's what? Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Don't lie with mankind. As with womankind. As with womankind. It is abomination. It is abomination. I can't see what a man seeing another man. No. Your little ashy knees. That's right. Dried up lips look like their lips is peeling like dried leaves in the fall. Amen. Ashy old hands. Amen. No hips at all, no curves, just totem pole. That's right. Light pole looking at light pole. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Here you got men now getting uh, silicon and all type of inner tubes and silly putty and clay dough and slime and old outdated newspapers That's and right. trying to go to some old alley shop and someone cutting them open, Come pushing on. all the brown paper bags, recycled bags, old garbage, old pieces of bread they don't eat no more, old cans of peaches. That's right. That's right. Old expired jars of Goebbels. Amen. Pushing all in the backside, and then they wonder what's all that noise coming down the street. <laughs> huh? Amen. Walking out here like you the hunchback like of Notre Dame. That's right. 
Amen. You fool. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. As with womankind. As with womankind. Eh, eh, eh. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as. As with womankind. Just imagine what you ever done with a woman. Mm. It is abomination. Just imagine what you do with your wife mm. or with your woman. You can't do all that with no man. I don't care how much you try. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Am I right, man? Yeah. Talk to me, Boston. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want this to be good in case I got these sodomites in here. That's right. You claim you from the hood and you walking around looking at these little boys behind like a predator. Like a predator. So that's why some go to church because they're predators. That's right. Even some preachers are predators. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, Get me? Yes. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. You know how you lie. Don't go choking now. <clears throat> You know how you lie with a woman? That's right. You can't do all that with no man? No way. No, no. Eh? That's right. Man ain't made for all that carrying on. <laughs> no way. Eh? In the book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 13. Follow me in your Bible. Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 13. And you get some old heathen. He shouldn't preach that. It's written. It's written. I didn't write the Bible. That's right. You just don't like it because you look like a woman and you're a man. That's right. You walk around with bobby pins in your hair and a man bun and hair hanging down. Hair God ain't made down. you for that. Amen. He made you a man. When I look at you, I should know that you're a man and not a woman. That's right. Your name is Billy, not Belina. Amen. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Your name is Jack, not Jacqueline. That's right. Face the fact, you're a man. You're a man. I don't want to be 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 a man. Like you, Dorothy. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. You can click your heels all you want. You're a man. That's a man. That's right. In Leviticus 20. And society mm -hmm. got the fashion out so you can look like a woman. Right. Amen. Not you out here with a little miniaturized pocketbook. That's right. Amen. That's right. Why in the world man want to arch his eyebrows, you idiot? Eyebrows. Amen. Armor all on your lips shining more than the tires of your car. Oh, yeah. Fingernails all shining, you fool. That's a fool. I'm a man. I don't need no manicure. No, no. I don't care how ashy my hands is. I don't care how big my knuckles are. That's right. I'm a man. That's it. Preach it, man. Thank God. Preach it. Are you listening? In Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. What happened to your manhood? Yeah. Oh, yes. You women, it's not, it's not a lot of men on the assembly line. If you ain't married, you in trouble. You in trouble. You in trouble. You may catch that fella. Late one night, you think he's going to the bathroom. You come in, you breaking on him. Oh. He got your clothes on. That's true. That's true. That's true. He got your clothes on and got your shower cap on and he's bald headed. My Lord. How the world you going to have your shower cap on and he's bald headed? Glory to God. Amen. Eh? Amen. What is it, son? In Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. Follow me. If a man also lie with mankind. Man lie with mankind. As he lies with Bible a woman. Said if a man lie with mankind like he do a woman. Both of them have committed an abomination. See, all fornication is not the same. No. The Bible don't call that fornication. No. It's worse than fornication. They have committed an abomination. It's worse than fornication. That's right. There's different forms of sex. Yeah. A man and a woman that's not married, that's fornication. A man is married with a woman, that's adultery. that's adultery. But when a man hit a man and play tag and hide and seek. Amen. Abomination. Tag, you in. You in. <laughs> that's right. Uh, see? see, when I came up, we play hide and seek. It was innocent. Tag, you in. We're running. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Now you go sit at the bar. Mm. Something come wandering in. Yeah. Not, e not even switching. That's true. Come wandering in. Yo, what's up, dog? Hey, 
ain't, ain't everything is everything. To buy you a drink. Oh, yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. Then next thing you know, what's your name? What's your name? <laughs> yeah, that's something. And they both lead the club. That's right. Are you listening? Lord, my Lord. Are you listening, viewers? Amen. Amen. Listen to what the word of God said here. Leviticus 20 and verse 13. And this stuff is very well accepted here in Boston. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, yes, the homosexual community run rapid here in Boston. You can see rainbow flags mm. on pubs, on bars, on churches, on schools, oh, and the religion here is quiet. Amen. Huh? Amen. They're quiet. Quiet. Yeah. Wonderful. I went to Canada and preached against it. Yes, yes, you did. Then they told me, oh, you can't preach against homosexuality here in Canada. The government don't allow it. And I <laughs> preached it again the next day. <laughs> That's right. Ain't a government in the world going to dictate what we preach. No way. God dictate what we preach. That's right. We're lock it up. So what? So what? What you do in, what you do in prison, Pastor Dennis? I pray and fight. Yeah. I'll be praying and fight. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ain't no booty over here. Uh -huh. I'm just telling you straight up. Ain't no booty over here. That's right. Your eyes may shine, your teeth may grit, but this is one booty you will never get. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Hallelujah. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. I speak for all real men. Real men. Yeah. Repeat. Here, repeat after me, men. Your eyes may shine. Your eyes may shine. Your teeth may grit. Your teeth may grit. But this booty here, this booty here you will never get. Hoorah! Hoorah! Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You see, this is real church here. Oh, yes. My job as a minister is to make men. That's it. Our men have fell by the wayside. Oh, yes. And God wants to resurrect men from the filth and the dirt of sin. That's right. You're in the real man until you serve God. That's right. That's what make you a real man. That's right. Amen. Amen. So you that are watching, <laughs> take note of that. That's right. Make sure you write that down. Write you that take down. that one quote and put it on TikTok. That's, that's right. That's right. Put it on TikTok Go and ahead. all that other stuff they got. I don't know how none of that stuff works. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. They throw me in jail for preaching this. I'll go. I yeah. won't fight. Nope. But when I get in prison, I'm going to stand for that word. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to stand for the word. And you come after me, I'm back up against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you can come at me all I uh, No, uh, no, no, no. One try to throw me around here. No, no. No, oh, no. Oh, no. Hallelujah. Somebody said, well, you're a man of God. You ain't supposed to do that. I got to come up to that. Gotta come up. <laughs> That's right. Your eyes That's right. may shine and your teeth may grit. Amen. But this booty here, you ain't going to never get. Never get. <laughs> Are you listening? Amen. <laughs> Come on, Williams. If a man also lied with mankind. If a man lied with mankind. As he lies with a woman. You got your Stacey Adams up in the air. Mm. <laughs> your, your Nikes in the air. Nikes. Scraping the popcorn off the ceiling. <laughs> That's right. 
glory to God. Amen. Uh -huh. If a man also lie with mankind, mankind as he lies with a woman, he do the same performance. Both like of them with the woman. God said both of them have committed an abomination. Have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put surely to death. Be put to death. Their blood shall be upon Their them. Blood shall be upon them. Amen. Go back to where you were so I can knock off. Everybody all right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Back in Isaiah 55 and verse 7. <laughs> Yes, Let the brother, wicked. Brother, brother Shabazz in Alabama, do you, you listen to this? <laughs> I know he's watching, laughing as hard as he can. <laughs> All right, let's have it. Isaiah 55 and verse 7. All right. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. Boston, the reason why we're here is to get you on God's side. That's it. I don't want nobody in Boston nor any other part of Massachusetts to go to hell. That's right. But I got to preach the word of God like it is. Oh, yes. And I'm glad God made me an independent preacher and a fearless preacher. Amen. And anybody that's tired of playing church will be a part of the resistance. That's right. We are the resistance, brother. That's right. Yes, no, maybe so. No, By the we so. are declaring war on the devil. Amen. The devil declared war on the church and we are fighting back. That's right. And we are fighting back with scripture. That's right. What he said? Let the wicked forsake his let way. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous, and the man, unrighteous his thoughts, man his thoughts. And let him return and let unto him the Lord. Come on back to the Lord. Come on back to the Lord. Get off the streets of Boston, Massachusetts. Stop your gambling and your killing and your murdering. That's and right. your robbing and your club going and your bang gang. And lay down your racism and your cheap prejudice. And ain't nobody's skin better than the other. That's right. If I cut a white brother and cut a black brother, both of y'all going, your blood is red. Red. Huh? That's right. That white brother uh, blood ain't coming out yellow, and the black man blood ain't coming out rainbow. Amen. It's going to be red. That's it. The Bible says the life of all flesh lieth in the blood. In the blood. Then it says he made all nations of men of one blood. One blood. Uh -huh. Let the wicked forsake his way. Leave his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. Yes. And let him return unto the Lord. Come back to God. And he will have mercy upon him. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Amen. Come out of the churches you're in. All these man-made religions, these religions were started by man. That's right. They're not in the Bible. The Catholic, the Protestant, the Episcopalian, the non-denominational, the Lutheran, and Christian science, Scientology, Mormon, Muslim, and all this other stuff. Ain't that stuff ain't never been in the Bible. No. We were ignorant, we were blind, and we were loyal to it, and we went there for years and gave all this money. That's right. Gave all this That's money right. patronizing something that wasn't in the Bible, even praying to dead people. Yeah. Praying to Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa don't know you. Amen. She's dead. That's right. She's a saint. She's dead. She's dead. The Bible said the dead know. Well, she's in heaven. Hey, she ain't in heaven at all. Heaven she's at in all. the dust. That's right. You don't believe me? Go to a grave site and start digging. <laughs> well, I thought you go to heaven when you die. Give the book of Ecclesiastes, book of Ecclesiastes so Ecclesiastes. I can knock off. In Ecclesiastes? I want to show it. Well, my mama in heaven. Your mama is not in heaven. Just go to the grave site, start digging. Start get a digging. shovel, get a fork, get a spoon, and you will see that body laying there. Amen. That's right. Stinking. That's right. Mama, your brother, your husband, your son, all of that. All this right. lie's been preached for years. Yeah. Because preachers are afraid to tell you the truth. You go to some of these funerals, you'll think it was a child of God died, and you know it was a gangbanger. Oh, yeah. They put them right in heaven. That's right. And hear that man done drank, smoked, gambled, lived like the devil, and that old Jerry Curl head drunk and revving to my son. Oh, I see. Uh, brother James. He didn't come to church all the time, <laughs> but once in a while, once in a while. Ha, James will come sometime. I see him sitting over there on Easter, ha, and when Easter will go away, I see James again on Christmas. Ha, James, I see him. He's up there with his mother. I, oh, James, you a liar. That's a lie. You a liar. That's right. You a liar. Amen. Amen. I don't care if it's your daddy, your mother, your brother, your cousin, your best friend. You didn't repent of your sins. You wasn't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You didn't seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost, and you refused to live a holy, sanctified life. The Bible says, he that believeth not shall be damned. That's You're right. going to hell. That's right. Maybe a hard pill to swallow. But you ain't going to heaven. No. And you ain't there now. No. I'm going to show you where you are. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 7. Follow me in your Bible, Boston. In Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 7. What is it? Then shall the dust return to the earth. That's us. 
as it was. Then shall the dust go to the earth as it was. And the spirit. And your spirit, your breath. Shall return unto go God. Go back in the presence of God. Who gave it. Someone say, well, God is in heaven. God is everywhere. God is everywhere. God is high. The Bible said he's higher than heaven. Yeah. Deeper than hell. Broader than the sea and longer than the earth. Mm -hmm. So when you die, your breath go back in the presence of God. That's why God snatched it from you. That's right. He gave you your breath to give you time to get it right. But you're too devilish, hard-headed, and stubborn, and arrogant. That's right. You want to keep living like a fool. Like a fool. Then God close in on you and tell the deaf angel, all right, let's, they don't live long enough. Yeah. I don't gave them all right. the time, but they're too stubborn to obey it. That's right. And then God snatched the breath out of your body. Yes. Then you drop dead wherever you are. Oh, yes. You better repent, Boston. That's it. Boston, it's time for you to repent of your repent. sins. What is repentance? Get sorry about your wrong. Mm -hmm. You ain't discovered no magic water to make you younger. No. You're getting older and older and older, and you're still living like you don't have good sense. Still hanging around the same crowd yes. that stay in trouble oh, yeah. and then get you in trouble. Yeah. Repent. Repent. Of all your sins. That's right. Acts 38 says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, hear this. You, you Catholics, you Catholics that are here. Yeah. You know, because Boston, Boston is a Four Catholic days. city. That's right. Oh, yes, you have your mass, you have your lint, your ash. You walk around, little ashes on your head. After you, after you done cut the devil <laughs> and live like a demon out of hell, you want to put dirt on your forehead. <laughs> That's right. You might as well cut your foolishness out. Cut it Pastor out. Jennings, I was baptized in the Catholic Church. The Catholics ain't never baptized nobody to write. No. You just got wet. That's it. The Bible ain't never tell you go to a little old bowl and have somebody throw water on you. No. Your whole body have to go down in that water. That's right. You better give me uh, Romans chapter Romans six chapter and that chapter verse six, one. In that verse one, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that, that grace great... may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead How to we sin? That are dead to sin live any longer therein? No, you not. No, you not. There's so many of us that was baptized into Jesus Christ, but baptized into His death. There Therefore, we are buried with him. How? By baptism. Catholics. Into death. Catholics. Catholics. I know I got some here today. That's right. You wasn't buried. You can't get buried in that old little fishbowl. <laughs> no. <laughs> Standing up there and the priest, priest gets got you, your baby, he up there. And in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. And then your family repeat them. <laughs> Don't get offended, Catholics. Don't get offended. That's right. Well, you talk about my religion. All right. If you're going to be such a loyal Catholic, ask yourself, mm -hmm. is God a Catholic? Yeah. Think of it now. Think of that. Is God a Catholic? Mm. Because if we are God's children, we're supposed to be what God what, is. That's right. Did God ever tell you to be a Catholic? Be Catholic. You God's children? Then why is it that his children one thing and the heavenly father is another? That's right. You're a Baptist? Ask yourself, is God a Baptist? Yeah. Well, Pastor Jenner, I don't know what God is. I know what he is. Give me the book of Leviticus. In Leviticus chapter 19, and we're at verse 1. Follow me in your Bible. All, oh, yeah. All of you that are Jehovah's Witness, not the nominational, Pentecostal, whatever you call yourself, go to the Bible and see is God where you are. That's it. And if you can't find in the Bible where the Heavenly Father is what you are, you're a fool to keep bragging about what you are. That's right. Go to the Bible. That's it. Listen at this. In Leviticus chapter 19, we're at verse 1. We're going to see what God is. And we're going to see what did God tell everybody else to be. That's right. Follow me. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 1. You walk around here. It doesn't matter what religion you are. We all the same. Stop telling that lie. That's right. We ain't all the same no more than everybody's the same cook. They know how to cook. Yeah. Some use too much salt. Some don't use no salt at all. Amen. Some folk food tastes good. Some ain't good for a dog to eat. <laughs> We're not all the same. No. Go do it like the Bible. Bible. If you don't believe the Bible, get it out your house. Right. Give it to somebody who believe it. That's right. Listen at this. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 1. All right. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying. Geno Jenin said it. The Lord spake unto Moses. Geno Jenin said it. The Lord spake. I'm not the Lord. That's right. No, you're not the Lord. I'm not the Lord. No. Lord don't wear no three-piece suit. <laughs> no. Lord ain't got no fade, no tape of haircut, not the Lord. That's right. Listen. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying. The Lord said to Moses. Speak unto all the congregation all of the children the of Israel. Speak to all the congregation of Israel. And say unto them. What should we tell Israel? Ye shall be holy. 
Ye shall be Catholics. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Protestants. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Episcopalian. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Lutheran. Ye shall be holy. Mormon. Holy. Muslim. Holy. Jehovah Witness. Holy. Diagnostic. Holy. Christian Science. Holy. Scientology. Holy. Buddhist. Holy. Hindu. Holy. Now, Amen. give us the reason why we should be holy. For I, the Lord your God, am holy. Amen. Do you hear it? Amen. Do you hear the Bible talking? Ye shall be holy. God said you should be holy. For I... And then he gave the reason. For I, the Lord your God, am holy. You going to accept the Pope over the Bible? Over the What's Bible. the matter with you? That's right. You going to accept the Pope over, the, over this book? Over this. This book is before every Pope. That's right. Every Pope, every Archbishop, every nun... Every priest got to come do it. What scripture says? The priest was obedient to the faith. To the faith. To the faith. Even the priest was obedient to the faith. God said we got to be holy. Ye shall then be he holy. Gave the reason. For I, the Lord your God, am holy. That's good enough for me. That's, that's good huh? enough. If he said he's holy, I ain't paying nobody else no mind. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's Pastor right. Janice, I'm going to be what the Pope is. Then you putting the Pope above God. Yeah. God said, ye shall be holy. God said, ye shall be holy. God said, ye shall be holy. And what was God's reason? For I, the Lord your God, am holy. You better repent for being everything else everything and else. anything else. That's right. Acts 2, 38 says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. Overtake take God, everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. The Bible ain't never told nobody, go touch some television. No. and accept Christ in your heart. Ain't no Bible talk that foolishness. No. Bible ain't never said bow your head, raise your hand, and accept Christ as your personal never Savior. That's that. an old man-made rotten religion. That's right. Ain't no Bible ever said that at all. That's right. Repent. Come on and do it like the Bible says. Then you Peter go to these churches and preachers say, anybody want a church home, I give you a home. And you come on to the front and a bunch of cheap elders lay hands on each my son and pray a sinner's prayer. Right. Lord Jesus, come into my heart, wash me, I'm a sinner, white as snow, cleanse me. And then the preacher say, you saved. You no more saved than a duck can smoke crack and get high and fly an airplane from Philadelphia to Boston. <laughs> That's right. You ain't saved, That's... you've been lied to. Amen. Do it like the Bible says it. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. Get your sins washed away and you shall. Receive the gift for of the, the Holy Ghost. unto you and to your children. And to all that are far off. Even as many. As the Lord our God shall call. And the Bible said the Lord hath spoken. He hath called the whole earth from the yes. rising of the sun to the going down thereof. That's right. All right, Boston. If you want to get right tonight. And want to get on the Lord's side and want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet if you want it tonight, Boston. Stand on your feet if you want to get right tonight. Stand on your feet if you want to get right tonight. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Hallelujah. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, go right to the back. Wonderful. wonderful. All of you that are standing. Wonderful. Go right to the back, all of you that are standing. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. Who <laughs> is go? Hallelujah. This is the Lord's doing. Boston can't get away from it. Hallelujah. We are the resistance. That's it. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Word of God, come and bring Boston the word of God. <laughs> While they're getting them together back there, they're going to get y'all together back there. Wonderful. Just follow their instructions. They'll get you all together. Hallelujah. They'll get you all together. Oh, Raj already gone. Getting ready. Isn't it wonderful? Wonderful. Oh, give me the correct time, brothers. People have never seen the move of God like this nowhere. Every state, every city, every country, everywhere. Hallelujah. This is what the Lord promised. Yes. He told his apostles, I'll make you fishes of men. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's what heaven has made. Hallelujah. That's what he has made us. Oh, yes. 
Amen. He bait my hook with scripture. Amen. Or we can reel him in from any walk of life under the sun. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Everybody under the sun must repent must of repent. your sins. That's right. Be baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ and quit every man-made church under the sun. That's it. And That's get it. ready to walk with the truth. Hallelujah. Now I'm stuck. I got to open up a church here in Boston. <laughs> I got to do that here in Boston. Too. Amen. I got to do that here in Boston. Amen. I got to do it here in Boston too. Hallelujah. Do you hear me, C Rock? <laughs> I got to do it here in Boston too. And Hallelujah. that's that's the way it is. Everywhere we go, everywhere, everywhere we go, the people are coming by thousands. Hallelujah. People are coming by thousands. We gotta open up in Seattle. We gotta open up in Kansas City. We gotta open up in Cleveland. We gotta open up Hallelujah. in Cincinnati. We gotta open up in St. Louis. Every single city we go in. I, that's why I wish I was a multi-millionaire before I leave town. Town, I buy church cash, set it up, and roll the folks in there like sheep. <laughs> that's right. My desire is for men and women to be saved everywhere. Everywhere. So when the Lord come, mm. we can escape the flames of hell. Oh, yeah. Now, Boston, you come on back tomorrow. Don't you go to your old crooked church. <laughs> come on back tomorrow. Amen. You come on back and hang out with your brother tomorrow. Prayer begin at 11 o'clock. Come on in here and hit your knees and talk mm -hmm. to God. Uh, after they done getting things together, they'll direct them to where the baptismal area is and all of them will get baptized tonight, God willing. And uh, <laughs> you that are still thinking about it, well, you come on back tomorrow. That's right. We're going to go fishing again tomorrow. That's right. You got your opportunity to get it tonight, get it tomorrow. When you leave, go back and tell your friends, your wino friends, your neighborhood dope dealer, amen. Bring your second wife and your third wife and the fourth one that you're winking at, bring her too. <laughs> <laughs> bring the neighborhood prostitute, bring the homosexual, bring all of them. All of them. This message right here is ordained of God. This is why God Almighty, he give us victory everywhere. Everywhere. Not some places, every place. And I want everybody here in Boston to make plans now. Hallelujah. For Greensboro, yeah. North Carolina in July. Yeah. July 14, 15, 16, 17. If you can't be there for all four days, be there. You party longer than that. Yeah. Come on and give God some time. Make your reservations. And when you do, remember the code F. C O F C O. You do that so you don't register under the false church. Amen. All right. Let us all stand. Hallelujah. Unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Only wise God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to him be glory and power both now and forever. Brothers and sisters, say amen. Amen.